Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling tutorial blog. Today we're going to look at five must know Excel shortcuts. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first shortcut we're going to look at is basically the grandfather of all shortcuts. It is the Alt plus the letter. So if we look at a couple of examples, the first example says insert a circle. Now I'm not sure why you'd want to insert a circle if you're using Excel. Maybe you're doing a flow diagram or something like that. Um, but this is how you do it using the Alt plus letter shortcut. So firstly, press Alt. Let's see what happens. What you'll see at the top of the screen is a number of letters and numbers come up. So from there, what we can do is we can, if we want to insert something, we can push N. And then if we want to insert a shape, you'll see the SH there, and we can push SH. And then if we want to put a circle, we can simply go to the circle, and then we can draw a circle in. Like I said, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that in Excel, but obviously you can insert a lot of other things like tables, etc., etc. Okay, the next example using the Alt key is putting grid lines on the Excel spreadsheet. Now, I prefer my Excel spreadsheets without grid lines, but sometimes some users find it hard to navigate around cells and see what a cell contains. So, what you can do is you can alter the view. You can go Alt, W for view, and then you'll see VG for grid lines. So if we push VG, we can put the grid lines back on. Now I'm gonna take them off again, but you see my point, that we can access any of Excel actions or Excel's actions by using this alt followed by a number of letters. Okay, so let's go V, let's go, sorry. Let's go alt W and then VG again to take the grid lines off. Okay, the next shortcut is really nifty. So it says charting at the touch of a button. Now, doesn't that sound good? Now, the shortcut is the F11 key. So if you've got some data and you want to chart it quickly, maybe you want to see if there's trends in the revenue or historical revenue or the forecast revenue, what you can do is you can go select the data. So you can select it using your mouse or you can select it using your arrow keys and control shift arrow across. And then let's push F11 and see what happens. Okay, so a chart comes up there with our revenue numbers on. So you'll notice the 50 there and the 80 there. If we just pop back to our first sheet, then 50 at the start and 80. So that is indeed charting the revenues. Obviously, we can make some changes, put in the actual years on the access format, but we're not going to do that for the purposes of this tutorial. So you can delete that sheet. You can right click and you can delete the sheet or you can push Alt H for home, D for delete and S for sheet. So there we're using that grandfather shortcut again. So let's delete that. Okay, the next shortcut is finding your way around. So people that have been using Excel for a while will probably know this one and use it quite regularly uh, to navigate around the Excel tabs or sheets. So what we can do is we can go control. Now, in some instances, um, a lot of keyboards don't have a page down key and the page down will be in blue on the arrow keys. So in that instance, you'd have to press function as well. But most of the keyboards have a control and then a separate page down key. So we can go control and then page down. That's going to move us to sheet two. And then we can go control page up. And as you use this shortcut more often, you'll get a lot faster at using it and you can navigate really quickly through sheets. And when there's 
10 or more sheets, you know, you can navigate to the end really quickly rather than scrolling with your mouse and clicking on the particular sheet. Okay, so the next shortcut, I like to call it the go-to guy for auditing. Now, this is a very simple example and it probably doesn't illustrate the power of this shortcut enough, but let's have a look at this one. So we've got revenue per unit of $50, we've got units sold of 500, so our total revenue is just a multiplication of those two, so it's D39 times D40. Now what we can do is we can double click in that cell or we can press F2 to get into that cell. We can highlight this D39. So say for example, this D39 is on a different sheet. And if we press F5, our go-to box pops up firstly, and it's gonna take us to cell D39 if we push enter. So let's go enter. And you'll see that a dashed box comes up around the revenue per unit. Now, this is really interesting when you're on a different sheet and you want to find where a particular thing's coming from. Maybe it's coming from an assumption sheet, etc., etc. So let's just escape out of that. And that's basically the go to guy for auditing. So you can flip between formulas and inputs very easily with that shortcut. Okay, the next one, now we're not sh too sure if it's technically a keyboard shortcut. We think it is because it's on your keyboard, but it's the application key. Now you might be wondering what the application key is. If you are, please read the blog post at Video Financial Modeling for five must-know Excel shortcuts. If you're not, the application key is simply the list key with a little arrow. But basically what it does is it acts like the right mouse button. So say for example, we push the application key, you'll see that you'll see the same menu as when you push the right mouse key on your mouse. So you see I've just pushed right mouse, now I'll push application key. We can do a whole lot of fancy things from here, you know, we can insert a comment, so saying, you know, we need to work on this formula further, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so sorry about that. And so let's just look at one. We can go format cells, so application key, and you'll see that the F is underlined for format cells. So let's go F, and your format cells comes up. So now we can go and let's go and put, make this font really big. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you can do it. So let's do it and let's go enter. Okay, so I'm going to go control Z and change that back. Okay, so that concludes our five must know Excel shortcuts.